everyone's favorite um, Indiana Jones movie. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Not so much. But, you know, it is what it is. Up. Watch toss my flashlight out of the way. Uh, I don't need to look for pieces that I haven't actually dropped. Well, I say that I'm probably going to drop something right away here. Instruction booklet rather than wide. I'm not. I'm not a fan. Mostly because of like the way I have my setup here. Okay. We can put this off to the side, like the side actually because of that. That works. So you have Indiana Jones. Shia LaBeouf. I mean, Mutt Williams. A shovel and some kind of a flashlight. I was assuming that's supposed to be a flashlight. And two cemetery warriors. Oh, and we choose whether they have the mask, because they both have the mask on the one side, and not mask on the other side. Okay. There should also be a scorpion here somewhere, apparently. Okay. Ah, uh, the Lego scorpions. And a skeleton. Still wearing armor. That's a good way to do it. The armor clearly didn't help that skeleton out that much. So he's now just a skeleton. Okay, we're starting with the motorbike. Uh, this is the piece that we started with. What other scorpion can we have? Here's a spider. Well, the spider and the other scorpion might actually be in this set somewhere, that's why they weren't separated yet. So we need a pair of wheels for this motorbike. Front wheel. And a rear wheel. Where's here's the tire? Where's the wheel? There we go. Then we put on this top part. These little holder pieces, one on 
one facing that way and one facing the other way. There we go, I can see. Um, just put a one of these across to hold them together. And we're we'll looking for some brown pieces like this. Like they connect is what connects to them. Okay. Okay, so that's it for the motorbike, at least for now. Now for the main set. Start with this. This is a bit of a longer set, so see how it goes. We want these things. One right there. And another one to connect on the other end. Um, where is the other? Oh, another one. Ooh, what's in the treasure chest? Treasures beyond your wildest imagination. Here we go. Okay. So then we put on these to further connect everything. Hold everything in place a bit better and then these at the end. Either end. Technic pieces to stick into these holes. Meanwhile, we're also putting what this up here, and another one on the other side. Um, here we go. And a corner piece like this. So, and again, one on the other side as well. Okay, I'm going to want a flat piece there and there, and a triangle piece like this up here and on the other side. Just ate not too long ago, right? I'm already hungry again. Those there and there. Left there and left there. Okay, where does this piece go? Right here. And then the double hold one goes right next to it. Okay. We need another flat one. Okay, it'll be easier if we go the start with the end piece. That there, then the flat one, then the flat one that's slightly smaller. Okay, 
We need another double hole piece over on this side. And then we need apparently four of these little triangle pieces. Oh yeah. Here. Here. Here, and where's one more? There we go. I need another one of these things over here. And we need the crystal skull. We got it to show up nicely on camera. Actually looks pretty decent, but it's a bit hard to get it to show up nicely on camera. Okay, what do we have now? Okay, we need, um, colors that one like gray? Okay, yeah. I was looking for a tan piece. And I'm like, these aren't all, these are all too short, but so I was looking for the wrong color. Sometimes happens, you know. Stay flat here as I'm trying to build this. There we go. And I need another one of these that I just put on. Um, dun, 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 dun. Not seeing it though. Oh, here we go. Okay, those are now again light gray up here. I wonder why they did two separate pieces instead of just one like, two separate two length pieces instead of one four. I mean, maybe they just had like extras. No, check out. Made too many of those for a different set that didn't sell as well. So let's, you know, put them on over here. Okay, now we have this. Spider web and the spider that attaches over here. Now you have the treasure chest, which has already been put together and has a golden chalice and two emeralds or pieces of kryptonite in case we're doing an Indiana Jones Superman crossover here. Now I need to put them, there we go. I initially put them back in in a way, put it in in a way that didn't actually um, work. Or did it work? Couldn't quite close it. Okay, now we put the Skeleton dude over here in front of the crystal skull. And we need to put some ferns on the, or a fern on the back. Over here. Oh, another gold chalice up front here. One fire. Can't for we can't forget about the fire. Come 
coming along nicely, coming along nicely. Put that aside for now. As we move on to the next segment. That and that. Attach them before they even got a chance to try rolling away. Make sure they're more uh, well connected, like so. Oh, now attaching another two long pieces out here. Here's what I refer to as dots is like these pieces. I don't know if they're actually called dots, that's just what I've been referring to them at least recently. At least today. I don't know if I referred to them as that in the past. I might have. But it's been a while since I've built a Lego set, so I don't know. Okay. Make sure I'm placing these correctly because well no, these aren't too bad to get off. Oh, mm. oh, yeah, they're not too bad to get off. Okay. Okay. So that we got a nice start to something here, but we're putting it aside for the moment. Now, working on whatever this is. Um. side and where's the other one here we go Okay, so grab this, grab one of these big circles, grab this thing, put it on, and yeah, we are moving and grooving. Okay, how does this attach? Um, like here, okay. Just making sure I have it like placed correctly. I believe I do. I go back here where this attaches. Like that. Okay, two of these. Where do these go though? Okay, right here, 
hold it in place. And more of these little things to for the looks to you know cover up studs and all that and make everything properly angled. Next up, two of these up top, and a couple of dots, one each. And we have a um, this thing up top, and ooh, two of these tall ones where. Here and here. Then two of these to connect like so. doesn't seem to matter. Oh no, it is on this side. I don't think it probably matters, but then cover it up. This thing up top. Okay, now we're attaching this to the end here. Okay, okay. Angled outward, angles outwards. Okay, we've got this. This goes up top. How much more instructions are there? Because, like, we're running low on pieces here. The book still seems to have a few pages. It depends on how much ads they have, I guess. Okay, okay, I see, I see. I see what we're doing here. Oh no, that's supposed to go from up top. There we go. Nicely. Ah, and this is yeah, where we have a scorpion right here. And the other two ferns go here and here.
Might have this in reverse, but... I mean, just like, goes facing the other way. Okay. Now, let's see here. Now what are we doing here? Like this. Okay, okay, okay. So like you put in the there. I mean, it doesn't really work too well with his whip here, but so we'll take the whip away for a second. And then he falls through to the back. Neat, neat, neat. Okay. That's also why he's not holding the whip in the picture. So I have a couple knives, an extra gun, an extra skeleton arm, because you never know when you need an extra skeleton arm. Okay. Another set has been completed. Extra pieces in the box. I'm gonna actually saying with okay, put the knife on like There we go. It's super easy to ride a motorbike while carrying with a flashlight and a shovel. So let's mark that down as completed. Next up is the Venice Canal Chase. Final Indiana Jones set. So let's put this away and grab that one right away.